Hey, how y'all doing out there? Uh, listen, many of you that know me know that I'm an advocate for free living, and uh, and I also, uh, like many people, millions and millions of people uh, in America have uh, have stepped away from society, and uh, we've been put under the big label of homelessness, but this could actually be uh, a person that came back home to live with their parents. This, this could be uh, somebody like me that instead of deciding to pitch my tent on a sidewalk, I, I took a a landowner's offer and, and camped in the woods and lived on my own and uh, it's called homelessness but really all it is is poverty and families and and, and sometimes cities helping people uh, get out of bad situations for shelter for food for water um, the reason I'm coming at you like this because I have a from researching from from paying attention to this situation from living in it and from hopefully doing a documentary on homeless people uh, both in the street, in the home, in the rural areas, and in the urban areas, uh, y'all, the laws are sacked against us right now, and I don't know if you just noticed, but this government just um, detained and held lots and lots of families from Central America just at the border just for some paper law, for some no reason using a person, a fear of a people, and they, and they make they make their regular American citizen through the news fear the homeless person and make them fear the immigrant. But we saw where they took these people and they took their kids and they separated these families. I have reason to believe that by the deep part of this winter, or at least we'll, we'll sure enough see, we'll sure enough see into 2019, uh, that they're going to make a big stab at separating children from families. They're going to use laws already in place. And the reason why I think this, because you know, and people that know me know that I'm not an alarmist and that I don't throw fear out there. I like to spread information that we find out. I want you to check the budgets for your cities, not your states. They, they've learned to backdoor the normal research procedures and where you normally you could check, check a state budget to see where money was going to food stamps or for the homeless. It's now going to these cities. Some cities are going to have a budget to take care of it. Some some cities are not going to have a budget to take care of it. I want you to know the budget to eradicate, the budget to do like they're doing now, make the cities less ergonomic, let, make them less comfortable, put spikes in alleyways, whatever, make it where they can't sleep, eat, or, uh, or even come to these cities. And then some cities are going to collect these people. Those will be the other budgets that you watch. So it's going to be like good cop, bad cop. Now, let me remind you something about the good cop, bad cop thing. You think, well, Bill, one's good and one's bad. You know, one, one's got a role. They both got a role. They're both cops. So these budgets are to get people into different cities so they can do different things. The other reason I have to believe this is that what I just said. What happened with the Central American children and the Central American families, and that everybody seems to forget because it's not the mainstream news all of a sudden, was a practice run for us. And it's going to be the homeless people. And it's going to be sep separating the children from either, like, homeschoolers. Here's what, here's what I'm getting at. Well, i, I got to change this up a minute so you understand. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm using the word homeless, but what I mean is people that have broken away from the norm, society, indoctrination program, the United States government, the, the, the federal uh, school system, organized religion, organized politics, organized anything. You stepped away because it didn't work for you. The medicine, the vaccines. You didn't want to vaccine your, yeah, vaccinate your children. You didn't like the education they were getting. And you decided to step away. Now, in saying that, there is a homeless group of people out there, millions and millions, tens of millions, that were pushed out as well. They did try to do it, but they just couldn't do it in the capacity that they were in. These are useless people to this government now. They don't need an excuse. They don't need a reason to be the government anymore. Full-blown fascism is about to take over this country. This country has been sold as a resource nation. And they're getting rid of the useless people, as I said, which is any of you that consider yourself a minority and you struggled and fought so hard with this federal government to become a minority and, and to get special attention, well, you're about to get it. And as bad as I hate to say that, that's me. That's poor people. Not that I petitioned the government. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that I got classified in the group because I stepped away. I'm considered homeless or I'm considered, um, um, well, I'm con de definitely considered off the grid. That's not going to be a way here. It's over. And they're fixing to take over. We're going to see a big push this winter. And as, like I said, when we go into 2019, January to April, 
for sure you people best be paying attention to what's going on to you watch out for your brother have your brother's back we don't have the police no more y'all they're in on it we don't have the national guard they're in on it we don't have the government they're the ones we have become useless we have become a problem and we're everywhere in america so they don't know what to do but slowly but surely with this practice run, with this FEMA camp thing, with these Central American children, you saw what they can do. You saw the power, the, the reach of their arm. Now, if nothing else, because like I said, I'm not alarmist and I'm not trying to make you paranoid. I'm trying to make you aware of your own very, well, my brothers and sisters' livelihood, my tribe, the poor, the, the, the normal, regular people of Earth. Because, see, they won't want me living on this mountain. They won't want people living in an alley. They won't... If you're not connected to the system, they're about to get rid of you. And this is my warning to you. So take heed. Pass this along. Uh, if you know if you got a brother or sister or aunt or uncle or cousin or somebody, anybody that's homeless, talk to them. Let them know that it's on, that they're not, we're useless now. Uh, they've shown practice runs. The budgets for police states, for, for police against homeless, and the budgets for child and family service to take homeless children have increased at least follow the fucking money follow the money and nobody can dispute that look at the new fiscal year for the cities in america and they're either going to seriously help homeless people or they're not that's going to draw people to these cities and then the cities that people are drawn to that's going to have family uh, or, or a lot of uh, family uh, child and family service money to separate they worked this out y'all they've been planning it for a long time and homeless people that live out there on the street, you know it, cause you see. Listen, brothers and sisters, and I got a, I got several over there in California. But my one, my one brother, my I'm gonna use your YouTube name, Nomad Interceptor. You tell me, you see the homeless people over there? You're one of them as well, brother. You see them in California? They're disappearing, ain't they? The ones that went to the national parks, the ones that that went out and just stretched away, they're disappearing. Now there's gonna be a push for the kids. If I'm an, an alarmist, you tell me six months from now. We get through this fall, we get through this winter, we break into spring and nothing's going on. And y'all say, ha, 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 Bill, that one's on you. Other than that, I live in this world. I live in the world of the people. And I am a part of the tribe of the people that America no longer wants. So don't even think I fuck around at all with my research. I see the indicators. They're about to take us out. They have no need for us. They're going to demonize us first. There's Watch. You'll, the news will have nothing but crime from homeless people and homeless is causing disease and homeless is taking your food and homeless is taking your water. When it could just be somebody living back home with their parents, it could be somebody like me just living in the woods off a of landowner uh, doing the best I can. But they'll, they'll label it as homeless, just like they did with Muslim extremists. They made you hate Muslims, now they're going to make you hate homeless. They make you hate black people, they make you hate white people, they can make you hate anybody they want to, but you watch what happens with the homeless people. Think about it. Be aware, my homeless brothers and sisters, I love you, namaste, and don't live in fear. This is our country too. This is our country as well. Peace. Keep your eyes peeled.